what is going on guys it is your host and pilot fly stewie in the building swag on 5000 trillion days today we are checking out why the dusk terminator just can't lose and why he's just so op um if you like videos like this and you want more definitely make sure to subscribe like and comment because we do videos like this all the time um and of course that's how i know what the videos you guys are really rocking with of course so i'm gonna show you guys one of my um teams that i'm basically gonna give to a scholar account we are giving away scholarships basically almost every week now so if you like scholarships and you want to get in on the game make sure to join that discord we have one of the most vibrant action-packed communities of all time but I'm gonna show you the first scholar team I'm gonna give away. It's gonna kind of look something like this. Um, so what do we have here? We have a plant, can steal your energy, yam you up, a little incy bent of damage, and pumpkin, of course, for card draws. We have your backdoor shrimp garish. Beauty, absolutely beautiful. Um, this card might be risky fish, might be catfish, might be some, might be a light, slightly bit different, but we'll see how that goes. And of course, we got the Dusk Terminator. So this is basically your jumping poison lineup. A lot of the people with the numbing in the background, this guy gets rid of them. And we're gonna show you why a team like this just works so well together. By the way, guys, we have Rustful in the building. Rustful, our seventh ever scholar. Can't believe she's here. Amazing. Three inches, of course, in the building. Kaioki in the building. Jahadin, our literal third ever scholar guys it is amazing to have the whole flight crew here all right so we're going against the typical backdoor bird team with a little bit of a twist nutcrackers and the zero cost with some fear on the side plants with massive damage okay so the scary thing about a team like this is they are probably going to pass first turn i say probably because this guy has some damage to him and we just have to decide which guy is the biggest threat. I think it's the bird, so we just keep passing. If he wants to take out my plant early, he can, fine. Because as soon as my plant's down, I'll be able to draw. Um, his best chance of beating me here was actually getting a crit like that. That definitely puts me in a situation. And he has all out shot here, so. I think almost what I want to do is I almost want to use all of my energy here, to be honest. Yeah, I, I feel like I want to use all my energy here. Hey, we got a new follower, Mr. Vagrant. Thank you for joining the flight crew. I really appreciate it. Okay, come on, please, please just take him out. Take out the bird, please. Take out the bird, please. Oh my God, this guy literally gets, <laughs> he's literally gotten every crit so far in the game. Okay, so I can't take out his plants. <clears throat> if he has another all out shot, that might be the end for me. No way. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Could be night night for me. Woo! This is very unfortunate right now. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay, so no energy draw for him. That's good for me. And let's get this guy out of my lobby. <laughs> the bird, really? Oh, yeah, he definitely got me there. Maybe if I used the swallow first, maybe I should have done that. But um, that egg bomb, man, it's always surprises me for some reason every single time. Bird's best strategy is egg bomb. Yeah, literally. It's just definitely the best card in the game. Really completes that glass cannon look. Um, this guy is pretty scary one-on-one, -on -one, especially with the zero card. So I do want a bit of energy going when I'm fighting him, you know? He's going to be energied out of his mind with the zero cost card, especially. And he gets the fear on me. So... 
with him having a zero cost i think we just we just try to attack him <laughs> i think we just try to attack him right and try to get him out of here somehow because he's gonna mix in the, the zero cost trying to guess where i'm at but do i survive this man i don't know Come on, get rid of him. No, it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Okay, I, I really messed up here, guys. I really messed up here. Wow, and that beast is able to take me out. <laughs> Eth says the fear. Yeah, man, that fear was really deadly. So, guys, the first loss, losing to a beast one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, the beast, a little nice, a little sexy, a little mysterious. Let's see if we can pull out the second game for the video. It's usually better to win in videos like these, but guys, I leave the losses up too. It makes for a more realer impact. You can really feel what I'm going through in the emotions, you know? Um, all right, so this guy's always interesting. So whenever you see teams with Sleepy Song, typically, typically they want to attack me as soon as they can. This card is really deadly to a bird though, because he has all air attacks and he's like a glass cannon, right? I almost want to use two, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, let's see here. So. <sighs> What could happen, and I'm suspecting he's waiting for here, is he wants to basically make sure he has his double sleeping song ready. This guy is a sleeping song midline dusk. I've never seen this team before, but this actually looks like a scared team. And here it is. <clears throat> and look at that, we got him at 60. So I'm telling you, that card is super scary to a bird team especially these soothing song bird teams that are very deadly to go against very scary times for him and he knows what time it is it's time to get out of my lobby i almost don't want to oh he doesn't even have so that's cool. good for me he actually doesn't have a vegetable here so he just has a never dying plant which of course is a bit annoying but Okay, that's, this is where the game gets really scary, guys. Because this guy annihilates my Terminator one-on-one. -on -one. He, he simply annihilates my Terminator. I almost think we want to go for damage on the back line. Until we're like confident we can. Oh, he actually gave that to me. Okay. Am I in kill range? I am in kill range. Not much I can do here, guys. So what I can do at least. I can try to get oh he doesn't go for the kill here interesting so I guess he didn't have any sleepy songs or he's saving it for my my guy here yeah Cole Harder says that's a double talk term that I was talking about very deadly guy right So this is gonna be a scary part here. Ooh, not much I can do here. I just gotta hope for the big damage. It's me the soothing song. 
Oh, the lucky crit. Okay, guys. The lucky crits. Two lucky crits in a row. Uh, not much we can do here, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I think this is a good night for me, to be honest. He's not going to put up that much shield. Not not much I can do here, guys. This guy is just too OP. Hmm. This is very bad. <laughs> this is very bad. I would need like, I would literally need like a super crit here. Uh, yeah, nothing you can do against this. And then, and then he hits with the double talk. Oh, it hurts. It hurts my soul. <laughs> so guys, I couldn't get the job done on stream. We're still keeping it up. You can see that there are bills that we might struggle against, even though we were so close to getting the W. Um, that's the thing about Axie. You win some, you lose some. As long as the outcome is income, guys. I think Drake said that one. But just like I said, guys, we're going to give out a team similar to this one to one of the lucky aspiring scholars that came and applied. As you know, in the flight crew, if we go to the stream here, in the magical discord there's definitely seven ways to get it one's on twitter one's here on my stream and of course i have some on youtube you just click this link in any video um but what's magical about my discord here is once you click this link you go to this magical place of the discord what should we call you actually let's call me nothing let's just open up discord i thought i had it open already Oh, we have 269 members? Guys, we are growing like crazy. This is this is insane. We are like we are a force to be reckoned with, guys. And look at me opening up so ever so slowly on team. You know, Discord's kind of a diva sometimes, you know what I mean? Like she comes when she's ready. So guys, this is the greatest Discord ever. We have S Media applications, we have scholar applications, we have everything you want. And this is where you would put your application here. Of course, make sure you go through and read what we are looking for here. Just fix your application to these. Make sure you have all these major things on here. Of course, the social media aspects, because we want to be able to research, get a little to know you a bit better. And guys, that's simple as it. I have some Axie related ones to know if you're, you know, an Axie person or not. And the way that, you know, we really rank everyone is the most active people in the Discord and Twitch will have priority. And you just answer the, the read first question. It's that simple. So without further ado, guys, I'm really excited to announce this next scholar. I think they have done a phenomenal job in the flight crew, a phenomenal job getting to know the community. And realistically, guys, it's the community that decides. Like, I see who's in the community. I see who people um, really, you know, connect with within the community. And with that, I kind of make a decision on, you know, who it is. So as you know, I like to hype things up a little bit, maybe a bit more than they should be. <laughs> but I always think it's a special experience. I remember my first time playing Axie. So without further ado, guys, without further ado, the next scholar of the 2020 scholar draft is can you guess can i get some guesses who it could be it could be anyone right it could literally be anyone guys big congratulations for becoming the ninth scholar of the flight crew guys it is another other than your boy, the one and only, Rapid Ramsey, for becoming the ninth scholar of the flight crew. Can you believe it? 
how incredible <laughs> the London Messiah all the way from the big UK London Ramsey becomes the ninth member of the flag crew truly amazing what a time over there his time's a bit different so I think it's like literally 7 a.m. over there for him but definitely deserved got to know the community and that's why he deserves it as always guys if you want to join the flight crew make sure to check that discord below but that's it for the youtube video two losses hey it happens it happens to the best of us um but we flight crew will see you next time thank you so much peace